Item Number SCP-1046 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures The building currently integrated with SCP-1046 is to be contained in a standard domicile containment unit. All surfaces contacting the building are to be constructed out of wooden materials. In the event of a containment breach, all portions of SCP-1046 found outside of containment are to be surgically removed and transplanted into the original building or a suitable replacement building. SCP-1046 is a collection of 781 separate human body parts, formerly a man named The portions of SCP-1046's body are alive and fully functional, despite not receiving any sustenance or containing any blood. SCP-1046 is located within the former home of Portions of SCP-1046 are located throughout the home, with some portions of the body replacing utilities within the home, such as portions of the skin replacing three curtains and a lampshade, and some inhibiting functions of objects within the home, such as a sink being clogged by an artery, and a large portion of the face being permanently affixed to the living room television. At random intervals, Portions of SCP-1046 will shift throughout any non-biological surface into which they are currently integrated. This shift can take anywhere from 45 minutes to several weeks. Additionally, the portion of the face integrated into the television, and any other portion of SCP-1046 capable of producing sound, will begin to make distraught vocalizations. Faucets located within SCP-1046 will begin to produce small amounts of saline during this time despite the building not being connected to any water source. SCP-1046 was discovered on September 18, 1994, after Foundation assets in the Davie Sheriff's Department followed up on reports of a quote, house with people parts, unquote. Investigation into the alleged house revealed SCP-1046's anomalous properties. Subsequent surgical intervention allowed agents to achieve successful containment. SCP-1046 was contained on November 19, 1994, and classified as Euclid. Similarities between SCP-1046 and SCP-1582 have been noted, and investigation to a similar origin of the two phenomena is currently ongoing. Addendum. Documents recovered from the residence SCP-1046 was located in have proven to be relevant to SCP-1046's current condition. Further investigation to the Malva Real Estate Corporation are ongoing. The letters were found in a bureau drawer and appear to be copies of letters that were sent to an unknown party. Dear Mr. Bayer, Recently I moved into one of your company's marvelous new homes, and found it to be quite luxurious. The ads are right, you really do feel like part of the home. However, I am writing you this letter due to the fact that my new house no longer contains the bedroom. Would it be possible to get a contractor out here to remedy the situation? Sincerely, Dear Mr. Bayer, I don't believe you've received my last correspondence, and as such I am writing you again. Since you did not send a contractor as I requested, I have decided to hire one of my own. Unfortunately, several injuries sustained on my property compelled them to leave without finishing. I once again compel you to remedy the error. Sincerely, Mr. Bayer, this is the third time I have contacted you, and I do not believe your ignorance of my issue is accidental. I demand that you send a contractor to finish my home at once. It is unacceptable for a gentleman of my stature to be reduced to sleeping in the living room. If my home is not supplied with a master bedroom within the next three weeks, I will be forced to summon my lawyer. To those who it may concern. I am alone and trapped in dark. I am all over. I feel the creaks of the beams. I taste the staleness of the wall. I am dry. I need my bedroom. Several days into the dawning of the sincere letter sent to an insincere man, he said I would be my house. I am a man. Don't take me anymore, please. I can't get sleep. The remainder of the note is unintelligible. <laughs>